G'day everyone, Sam here from FarmLab and we're going to be going through today the new analytics engine uh, that we've just rolled out. Um, we'll, I'll be showing you how to build a traffic light report and um, what you need to do to get that set up. So we can see here we've got a farm, our little demo analytics farm, we've got some boundaries and we've got some soil test results. What we're going to be using analytics to do is to um, look at how, it, how the paddocks themselves are performing in relation to those soil test results. So to do that, many of our clients today use Excel spreadsheets and they'll color code the cells in the spreadsheets. Uh, with red, amber or, or green to show a client whether their paddock is high, medium or low in pH, carbon, whatever whatever's being a, has been analysed um, in the past. So uh, without further ado, we'll jump in. So this is the analytics engine. If you go to analytics.farmlab.com.au, um, you can uh, take you straight in there. Um, Login is demo analytics and it should take us straight to the dashboard now. So we've got, you can see here on the left hand side, we've got our little reports. So we can set, we can create new reports, as many as you like for a specific farm. We might rename that, we might call that um, demo farm report for now. And these reports are then all saved to your account. Uh, you can come back to them, uh, print them off, give them to clients and just set them up for what it is you need to do. And we'll show you that now. The first thing to do before we set up a traffic light report is actually to um, go in and set up the profile associated with uh, with the traffic light. So in this case, we'll set up a profile for a series of traffic lights and a series of nutrients. And I'll show you how to do that now. So to set up the profile, we'll go into the new report we've just created. Open that up, demo farm report. Now we need to create a widget. So the widget we'll be building today is a traffic light widget. So we'll call it traffic light table. Select widget type and it's going to be what we call a sample results table. So this is a really simple table that we're going to set up for traffic lights. That'll appear there. We've got that. We'll go and set that up in a second. But the first thing we'll go and set up is the traffic light system for our profile. So we click the little cog icon at the top right. Manage property profiles. And this will bring up our first set of profiles. So here's a profile I've created earlier. It's called Nutrients 1. So this is the profile we'll use to um, automatically show the colors and the ranges. And if I go and hit edit, um, if you want to create a new private profile, simply hit create new profile. We'll go into this one because I've already created it. So you can see here I've got two properties. I've got chloride and I've got potassium there too. So this is where we simply specify the ranges. So let's just say 0 to 1 for chloride. We might say it's going to be red. Let's give it a red color there. Hit OK and we'll add another range. We'll say 1, 2, let's just say 20. Uh, it's going to be amber. And we'll just leave it at that for there for now. Hit save. We can scroll down here. We've got potassium already in there. Let's go in and add another one. Let's add carbon. So you'll see it will firstly default to uh, the first property available. Now if I just remove that and start typing, you can see I've got total organic carbon and organic carbon for my farm. So make sure the key thing here is just make sure you select the right one according to the farm you want to report on. In this case, I know it's total organic carbon because we've got total organic carbon in the results just here. So we'll come back to this. Let's say between zero and one, it's going to be red. So we'll choose red color. We'll add another range. We'll say 1% to, let's say 2%. It's getting better, it's amber, and then we'll add a final one here, which is going to be 2 to, let's just say 10, which is going to be green. We're probably not going to see a value higher than 10 in this case, uh, but we might just want to change that to 99. So anything above 2% is going to be shown as green in the table. Fantastic. We'll save that. These are my first three profiles. Now, if you want to add more, um, which, which you may you know, jump and just click add new property, find the result you've got there 
and go for it. The key thing is you need to have the results already uploaded into FarmLab, so FarmLab knows what results to uh, to display for you, and you can then select um, the color ranges for the results already in FarmLab. So that's probably one of the first um, things you'll need to do is make sure you have the data in FarmLab before you go to analyze it. Let's go out of this now and go back into the traffic light table we've created. So there's no setting, nothing has been set up for this traffic light table as yet. So I'll go edit widget configuration um, and then we'll select the farm that we've got now. So this will read all the farms we've got. In this case, uh, my farm is called Demo Analytics. Just start typing demo. Here we go. There's the farm there. It'll, it'll know what properties we've got and we've got our nutrients profile which we've just created i'll just type start by typing nutrients nutrients one and that will apply the traffic light system to the table we're about to create i could select go through and select a depth let's just say i only want 0 to 15 samples and select a date range as well and we'll go for the date range that we've got uh let's go start of january 2021 until the end of 2021 to make sure we've got all results for this table now go through and we'll select all of the paddocks that we have for that farm and let's select the specific attributes properties that we have um, mapped for so we'll go potassium carbon just going to regular potassium we might go radium nitrogen there as well although we haven't set up a traffic light but we'll be able to have a look at what that looks like you can see we've got all the other properties there too simply hit save and your traffic light table appears. If you do need to edit or change any of these, simply go back into the settings menu, edit that profile and change the parameters. Um, if you're working in a large organization, you might, want to create, you might want to create your own profile for your own region, for your own specific clients here as well. So key thing is you've got the flexibility to do that. This traffic light table will now save forever. Um, what you might want to do next is also add in, let's just um, let's call this some text field. So let's call this an explanation. And we can go in and add a plain text widget, hit OK. And then it's going to come up with a little explanation field and we can add some we can add some information to this. So we can add um, you know, so we can add some information about potassium, uh, description about what to do, and then we can go in and we can say increase um, the content for these paddocks. Hit save and then boom, we get a little uh, Excuse the typo, but we get a little explanation on the table above it. We can also reformat these these widgets here too, so we can um, make them half a page. We can have the description on the side, so we get a half a page there, we get a half a page here, and uh, there we go. We can have that on the side, all just helping for printability and visibility there. Um, so easy done, that's all saved, that's going to be set up. Anytime I want to add results to this, it'll come up. The other things to keep in mind are you may want to keep in the, the dates here. So we'll put 2021 and 0 to 15 centimetres, just so the client knows what they're looking at um, there as well. Oops, I didn't save. So 2021 and 0 to 15 centimetres, and be sure to save by hitting enter there as well. Um, so that's a short explanation on how to set up your traffic light table in FarmLab Analytics. Uh, we'll be adding new widgets um, constantly, so be sure to check back to see some of the new analytics features that we're, we'll add in. Um, thank you very much, and please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. Thank you.